What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today it is Sunday, it should be maybe Icon or Hero Pick Day, hopefully we're going to get a good set of content, possibly some mini releases as well, we don't know what's going to go on but we're going to dive straight into things, see what we get, if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to leave the video, like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and with that being said, let's get into today's 6pm content. And so, here we go, now... By the looks of it, no mini release. We thought we could see moments coming into packs as a mini release, but I guess not. Hey ho, it is what it is. I'm gonna say it should be a decent day for content today. We've got, we've actually got a lot of SPCs released. We have got heroes and icon picks coming in, so that is gonna be pretty good. Another end of an era player SPC, or more so a flashback SPC. And um, so we will check that out. Apart from that, though, is this new? No, this isn't new, is it? This is the same stuff. I had a feeling then that we had an extra set of uh, bonus picks there, but we don't. It is fine. Um, in terms of, yeah, objectives today, absolutely nothing new. I'm also going to say probably nothing new in terms of Evos. More so because we've had a lot of Evos recently. Oh, no, we are getting one. Incisive Pass Master. So, it is for... Oh, there could be some good cards that can go into this. It's a paid Evo. But Lionel Messi can now fit into an Evo. So if you want a special Messi, you can now finally put him in. It has only taken to the beginning of June to get him, but you can do it. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, if you did his foot birthday Evo, he can go into this, which is quite nice. Colaire actually could be a really, really fun card to add in. This card could be super good to use. Um, Divock Rigi for me, that would be quite nice. Roberto Carlos goes in. That Allison card that we had at Winter Wild Cards, he goes in. That would be quite a nice card as well. There's a lot of top tier cards that can go into this because it's max 90 rated. So fair play to EA at least on doing this because there's a lot, as you can see here, top, top tier cards that can fit. Um, lots of gold cards. Neymar can go into this Evo as well, which is really nice. Uh, who else have we got? Do you know what? The majority of cards can actually fit this Evo, which I think is a really good thing. A gold Van Dyke can go into this Evo. So if you want an upgraded Van Dyke, again, that's a nice little card to add in. So... Again, fair play to EA on doing this. It gives you pretty much boosts in every stat altogether. And I think it gives you an extra play style, doesn't it? It does. So, yeah. You can't really complain too much. Fair play on EA releasing that Evo. The Evos this week have been really, really good. So, as I say, cannot complain whatsoever. In terms of SBCs today, we'll start off with the player. And it is going to be Anthony Martial. Which I think is a bit of an interesting one. Um, considering, obviously, he is leaving United. So, I get why. He's 4-star, 5-star. Card looks really good. He does normally have a good card every year on FIFA at some point anyway. Uh, it's an 86, 87, 88 and a 90 rated team. So it is expensive there for two weeks though. If you're a United fan and stuff, I kind of understand why you would do it. Um, in terms of upgrades though today, we've got 90 plus hero picks, which is purely just fantasy or goal as our heroes 90 rated or higher. It is two segments for it. It's an 85 and an 87 rated team. Now in terms of the cards you can get, I do want to see because... There's probably a few good ones that you can get and a few not so good ones because obviously it's EA. Um, but in terms of concepts, if we go high to low instead, so you can get every single card here and then all of these cards. So Akotchas, mm, I mean, there's a few decent ones. Obviously, if you get Colour and Parky Sung, they could go into the new Eva, so that's not too bad. Harry Cool's best cards in there. So a lot of the top tier cards are in this. I feel like you could see Rizikshi a lot. You could see Colour a lot, Keane. Francescoli, Viali, Berbatov, they'll be like the common ones and stuff, but there's a chance of getting, uh, what's it called, Ginola, so that would be quite good. In terms of the fantasies, again, a lot of 90 raters are higher in this anyway, but again, a lot of top tier cards, you're probably going to see McManaman a lot, you're probably going to see Kessler, or Kepler, Kessler a lot, I think it is how you pronounce the name, but again, the chances of getting some good stuff actually aren't that bad in this, so maybe they're worth it. In terms of the icon player picks they should be a little bit further along i would guess it's 89 plus team of the year future stars or ultimate birthday icon so i think this is the same as last week it's an 86 87 and 89 again so icon picks look to be the same as last week we also have the bundesliga team of the season a guarantee pack as well it's an 85 and an 86 rated team which is quite nice i'm not going to open this today but i will be opening this on possibly technically today's rtg video it should have been up about two o'clock but Thanks to me waking up quite late. Uh, I didn't quite get around to doing that. So we're going to do a late upload today. And then hopefully in the next episode of it, we should have our foot champs awards. But 
yeah, I think um, I think all in all, a lot of good cards fit this Evo, so people are happy with that. Not really too much else in terms of everything. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad. I mean, base Hullet and base Ginola fit the brand new Evo as well. So that's an interesting one to see. So as I say, so many cards fit these Evos, which kind of makes sense in all honesty, considering, I mean, I guess it's the end of the game. You really should be able to Evo a lot of these cards. It's not too bad. Uh, we have got some play picks to finish off today. I didn't fancy doing any store packs. Uh, I've got a lot of hate on TikTok for opening that prison pack yesterday. And we're going to get Koulibaly here. That is nice. That is a good bit of fodder. Um, we will absolutely take Koulibaly. But yeah, a lot of hate on TikTok. Obviously, not a lot of people want to spend FIFA points. I fully understand that. And to, yeah... Some not so nice people on there, shall we say. But anyway, it is what it is. So instead of doing a store pack or something, I thought player picks gives us a bit of fodder. As I say, Cooler Bali is very nice. That will help to either do a bit of a player SBC or to do possibly that Bundesliga pack. All of these cards are going to go into lots of different bits and bobs of upgrades as well. So again, if we can just get a bit of fodder from these, obviously tomorrow we will get updated player picks. So it's probably going to go back to the 81 plus player picks for this week which obviously aren't as good, but hopefully the pack weight's good on them. As I say, I've seen loads of people get good stuff from player picks as well, so I kind of wanted to do some. We're definitely going to have some more for a few videos. But yeah, overall, cool barley paying out. We will absolutely take that. Let me know down below what has been your best pack pull this week. Are you going to do the brand new hero or icon play picks? For now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.